On this portion of the run, we came up out of Rowan Mountain State Park Campground. Really did like that spot, and it's funny how we kept rolling in and out of Tennessee, and that particular campground put us back in Tennessee. Uh, the drive up through was quite nice, really enjoyed it, and we ended up staying in Hurricane, which is up in the Jefferson National Forest. Um, Hurricane Campground, we thought we were going to come in, well, that was actually from the western side, and the road was quite rough. So we didn't end up coming in from that and drove around, thinking that we would uh, probably find a different place to camp. As it worked out, there's a better entrance going into Hurricane from that side. So that worked out much better. This was also our first day of actually getting on dirt. Being the Mid-Atlantic Discovery Route, we kind of thought we would have been on dirt much before this. And for most of this run and what we encountered, um, kind of glad we didn't, but the dirt got interesting brought us into some different areas. Roads were still narrow and curvy, but God, what a neat way to see this region. We just got a little bit of a view, which is pretty nice. Nice little road here, but like I say, this is a narrow road. Um, it's a car and a half wide, so you catch somebody you're gonna have to take part of the shoulder. It's like you each have to two tire a shoulder and there ain't much of a shoulder here. So I'm hoping I'm on this part early enough. <laughs> but again, for the motosporters, woohoo! What a nice ride through here. This is cool. Yeah, nice view of the mist into the hills. What is a son of a gun around here? They can't have the drought here. Or if, they, if it was, it looks like it's over. We came up what was a one car wide path. And it was tarred, and I can see why, because it was right, good old straight uphill. Um, thank God we didn't see another vehicle on it, because that would have been a situation. Uh, first section of dirt. Yeah, first section we've hit at all. I don't know how long this is going to be. Looks like we're coming, I think that's the state line right there on the GPS. So I think we're coming out of Tennessee and into North Carolina. I don't know if we'll be able to tell by road condition. <laughs> I think that's probably the state line that we just crossed. Maybe. But yeah, here's your first section of dirt. Well, I'd say we're not getting through here. Looks like we got a replot. Since I can, I'll get a picture of this, uh, the turns coming down through here, coming up this way. Didn't want to take my hands off the wheel coming through, the even turn the camera on. That's where the guy was. Yeah, I don't see him. But I'm coming down this at about 10 miles an hour with the turns through here. Uh, kind of a shame, but uh, yeah, road's blocked, tree's down, and it looks like that tree could go on fire. So I don't know if emergency services will come in from this side or from the other side. Our detour puts us on Route 67 East. It will connect back up to the Discovery Route, but it's a ways away from us. Um, it was either go west or go east, and we're in Cherokee National Forest now, which is cool. I prefer to be in here uh, versus going around the other way. And we will enter Jefferson 
No, it'll be hours yet, but we will get to Jefferson National in a bit. Uh, we are crossing by, or have crossed by, Watuga Lake, and there are several National Forest campgrounds along it. Uh, really busy. This is a Friday, so and it's early in the day, so we're not even going to try. Uh, we're going to head for that spot in Jefferson that I was after. We are off 67 now. We're still in Tennessee, as far as we can tell. <laughs> um, we came out of the National Forest. We'll see um, when we end back up in it. But uh, yeah, this is still part of the discovery route. What he had on back there. That was pretty wild. First thought was it was another homemade camper, or you know, up north that would have been like a dog sled routine. But we get on our second section of dirt for today. Um, kind of the turns got a little weird back there, but just keep a good eye on your GPS, and you'll catch them in. Works out pretty cool. I got a big time left coming up. I don't know if it's actually going to be this road or if there's going to be an intersection. Uh, the sun breaking through the trees is really hurting for being able to keep good view and I don't like that on these curves. <laughs> but um, neat area. So we're out in the Tennessee woods right now. Maybe we'll find some moonshiners and get some cheap whiskey. That, this looks like the sharp left, so it looks like it is this road. Doesn't mm -hmm. look like it's going to be an intersection. Cool. One of the many views coming through here, and you get a ton of them. I mean, one of the beauties of driving up and down the hills is you get these views tucked in everywhere. Um, the homes throughout this stretch range from blown out trailers to, I mean, half a million dollar homes. Uh, this and everything right in between. There is quite a spectrum here, uh, but what a neat area. Good drive on this. Uh, there was a short section of dirt, then it went right back to tar. Um, so it's been pretty smooth coming through here as well. <laughs> Rustic hardwood, so I wonder if he takes barns down. All right, I came off the back road discoveries. For some reason, somehow, we uh, we missed a right-hand turn. <laughs> I never saw it. I was probably taping during it, so when we review back through the video, we'll just back up one video and see if we can... Uh, Excuse me. See if we can find it. God bless. Oh, boy. We're in Laurel. Now it looks like we're right off the edge of the National Forest. So we're going to catch back up to it in about three, four miles. Um, and then it'll take us in towards where I want to camp for the night. Looks like we may hit it early, which would be a blessing because it does look like, well, one, we can do for a little just sit back and relax. And two, it would be nice to be able to get the tarp out and actually dry it. Oh, good Lord. Uh, things are just a still a little too wet. We've had way too much rain for like a week straight. Yeah, you can tell by the streams too. They're just they're just blown over. All right. Okay. I can see the sign right there that's going to give us our right hand turn, and that's going to put us back on target and are back on the discovery route. We are in the Cherokee National Forest. Um, I. I think we're going to switch over to Jefferson? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Thank you for pointing at it because that's what we wanted right there. <laughs> okay, I should stop talking and paying more attention. <laughs> Love to be able to tell you if this was uh, Tennessee, North Carolina, or Virginia, 
but I haven't a clue. <laughs> this was this area is called Taylor's Valley, if that helps you at all. All right, I got a right-hand turn coming up, so this road's either going to turn sharp to the right or it's going to be an actual intersection. Well, a bunch of people living out here. Mm, huh. Cute. What's this, third, third dirt road yep. of the day? Okay. The other ones are very short-lived. This I expect to go a little bit further. Um, this is actually 726. So what I'm assuming is this is a, uh, a national forest road. And if that be the case, this is going to stay dirt for a while. Um, and that's fine by me. We have no problems with dirt. You know, it usually means a nice slow crawl. A nice slow drive and usually some views running through the woods hopefully we kept some wildlife um, this is pretty neat drop off on the side over there is pretty big <laughs> I really wouldn't want the road to wash away on this wow with all the water I'm surprised there's not more damage to this you know not even like channels on the side of the road I wonder if they got all the rain. I don't think so. Yeah, I would expect more damage here. There's no water coming off the rocks. Or it's so doggone hard packed, it was, yeah, well, that looks like it. The outside right there. Right there, yeah. Yeah, looked like I got hurt pretty good. And holy cow, what a drop off the edge. Ooh-wee. Well, we're climbing into something. Turn it back on a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Whoa. Yep, that's a hollow. 